Hey, welcome back. And while you've been away, we've been working really hard. So we brought out some of the bread that we actually made yesterday um, and let it rise and, and baked it in the oven. And when you, sorry, not even in the oven, I baked it in the barbecue. The barbecue so to, yes. again, keeping the kitchen kind of cool. Yeah. Um, so indirect heat. So I put it on the top rack and in a baking pan, you have no heat underneath it and then the heat beside it. And about 40 to 50 minutes, yeah, it comes out and it's real, way it's it's done and when you just tap it mm -hmm. looking for that you're trying to hear that hollow, hollow. sound mm -hmm. that hollow sound yeah and mm -hmm. uh, don't do that at home because my hands have been burnt so often <laughs> <laughs> i have no more feeling in them so you're going to make a blueberry coolie blueberry coolie all and, right and sorry and i'm going to make a chocolate pot of cream okay okay so do you want to get started sure there? sure all right so for the blueberry coolie and the coolie is just basically uh a sauce a, a fruit sauce um that's been sweetened up. So we have some sugar, okay, probably about a cup of sugar. And we're going to put the and sugar. And I put it on your burner right there for you. Okay, on the stove. And our goal for the sugar is that we're going to start to um, melt the sugar um, and almost start to kind of caramelize it a little. So it's going to get fairly hot and then we'll add in the blueberries and kind of cook those down. Now, if you're doing stuff like strawberries or raspberries, especially raspberries, mm. you're probably going to want to strain it um, to kind of get those seeds out of there. If you like the seeds, well, then that's fine. Exactly. Um, but uh, I know myself, I'd like to strain those seeds mm -hmm. out. So. Mm -hmm. And so you're going to get going on that. And yep. then I'm making cho chocolate pots of cream. Okay. And chocolate pots of cream is just uh, custard again. And you've kind of seen a whole um, maybe kind of flowing of all our recipes today because they all are different custards. Our panna cotta, our key lime pie mm -hmm. we made a custard right. with. And then, of course, we're going to finish with this custard. And this is just the basis of creme brulee, but we're not going to burn the sugar on top of it. No. So no. what I've had behind me, I have a half, uh, sorry, two cups of cream and two cups of 35% cream. So whipping cream and regular cream. If you're really looking, counting your calories and don't want as much fat, you can use lower amounts of cream, but really why? You're at the cottage, you're having fun, <laughs> you know? So we're warming the, the cream up or scalding it is the mm -hmm. actual pro proper term. And we're just gonna bring it up just before a boil. I'm just gonna bring it over to the camera. And you can just start seeing how it's just starting to froth and coming up to a boil. And that's the other thing is that what you want to do this is that you do want to use 35% cream and um, a little bit of the 10% um, because then you bring it up to boil, it's not going to split on you because you, that's nothing worse than splitting um, custard because you want scrambled eggs, you have scrambled eggs in the morning, custard you want it nice and smooth. So then I'm taking some milk chocolate and some 85% dark, dark chocolate Put it in and we're going to stir this in off the heat just like so. You're just going to let that cho chocolate melt in Exactly, there. exactly. And just for safety, like not even safety reasons, I just find sometimes, you know, you get sidetracked, especially at the cottage, is that you, um, if you have it off the heat like this and just kind of keep yeah. stirring the chocolate in, you don't burn the chocolate again. There's nothing, real, anything worse. Well, there's a bunch of other things yeah. worse than that, but burning yeah. chocolate's not fun. Yeah. So my sugar. Is browning up. So caramelizing is what we call it. It smells so good. Okay. So we're just going to, I'm just stirring it around. Let's move that out of there. Of course, you want to be very careful to say the sugar is extremely hot. Yes. Extremely hot. And I if did, you, sorry, if no, you do I was have... going to say, I did do one of those things as chefs. Yeah. We always seem to dip our finger, yeah. and of course, the first time I did this at the restaurant, <laughs> I went to taste it, dip my finger, <laughs> and the sugar sticks to your finger, so it was pretty almost, hot. Almost third degree <laughs> burns, right? And yeah. if you're having your, your kids or grandkids come over and helping, this is one that you might want to do as an adult by yourself and just say to the children, yes. you know, stay beside me, That you, again, because safety is always everything in the kitchen. So, I have my chocolate here melted all into with my cream. And then what I'm going to do is I have my eggs almost at room temperature. So when I pour them in, we're going to quickly whisk this together so that they don't split. Okay. 
encompass them all. Then the last little bit, stir that in. And then what we're gonna do is take our pot, slowly pour in our chocolate. Now this recipe makes 12 um, little small eight ounce ramekins or eight ounce mason jars. We're just gonna do three right at the moment. Take, and you can use a hotel pan, you can use a casserole dish. We're gonna put our ramekins in here. And what they're gonna do is they're gonna bake in um, a hot water bath. And then this way it's not gonna dry out because you know, if you make, like if you look at those flourless chocolate cakes, that's what you'd make if you didn't right, actually bake right, it in right. the water. Yeah. So we have boiled some water off. And we're just gonna pour the water beside it. So the hot water provides like a, a gentle, mm -hmm. kind of uh, a gentle baking system to it, right? Exactly. Take some tin foil, wrap some tin foil around it. If you want, you can bake this in the um, barbecue as well if you're trying to keep the heat out of the cottage. Again, you want to have it on medium three to 350 degrees. You're going to bake it for 22 minutes and then you're going to have perfect, perfect um, chocolate pots of cream in the oven it goes. We'll put that over here for now. Okay. Your sugar's done. Okay, so my sugar has now completely melted. Now there is, of course, different stages for melted sugar. We used to actually in the restaurant take it to this stage and then we just pour it onto uh, parchment paper or in a baking tray and let it harden back up and then we would crack it. We'd just drop it on the counter, crack it, and we'd use that to garnish our mm -hmm. desserts. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, so into this I'm going to throw our raspberries, pre-washed raspberries, or sorry, our blueberries <laughs> which have been washed. Yeah. Okay, I'm not going to use the whole thing. And then back onto the stove, give a quick stir. And with the hot sugar, it's actually cooking the blueberries right now. They're reducing down. They're actually going to break apart. The skin's going to break apart and you're going to get all the juice out of the blueberries and it's absolutely fantastic. Oh yeah, brother. That looks amazing. So it's going to take a little bit of time, but as you can see, the, the sugar has now kind of dissolved. You can see some of the liquid starting to form. That's kind of sugar and blueberry stuck to the spoon. Um, but as we cook it down, of course, that'll all just reduce and then uh, we'll get a nice, uh, our nice sauce for our desserts. Chef, I can't say enough how much a pleasure it's been cooking at the cottage oh, with you. Oh, it's been excellent. Thank you. Hey, till next time. Well, Glenn and Catherine, it's been amazing being at your cottage. So we have a little bit of dessert here. So I have some chocolate pots of cream with our blueberry coulis. Would like try a custard, uh, key lime pie as well? Okay, but you have to have a chocolate as well because life's short. Okay. Okay. Want to try a little bit of the key lime as well? Thank you. Can I Yes, you can. Oh yeah, definitely. Wow. There you go. And we also have some uh, coconut milk panna cotta. We'll give that to Glenn because he's a healthier guy. Thank you. That's very healthy. <laughs> a little bit of chocolate. Thank you. Beauty. Keith, I think you should do Thanks, chocolate chef. and key lime. Okay, sold. Okay, Perfect. enjoy, folks. Thanks, chef. Thanks, chef. <laughs> Good. Always. <laughs> I love Marley. Perfect.